today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I got this eyeshadow look using my new Viseart Theory palette in the shade Amethyst. And this is what it looks like. It's their purple palette. And I was so inspired when I got this to make a completely purple look. And I really like how it turned out. I think it's nice and dramatic, but it really makes my green eyes pop. So I really like that. And I actually am about to go to Target in this makeup. So hopefully other people don't mind. And if they do, I don't care. Let's be real. But I did just get this palette from the Sephora VIB sale, and I freaking love it. Vizier shadows are so, so good. I have one of their other theory palettes. I think it's the Minx one. It's one that's a little bit more bronzy, and it's so, so good. All the shadows are super easy and buttery and blendable and just fantastic. They are a little bit more expensive. But that's why you get them during the sale or if you really just want to treat yourself. But honestly, this palette did not disappoint and I really love how the look came out. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, be sure to keep on watching. Alright, so first things first is I've already primed my lids and put a little tape on the sides of my eyes just to keep everything nice and clean. And I'm first going to apply the lightest matte shade in the palette, which is the top left color. They don't have names, unfortunately. But I'm just placing that all over the lid as a base. And now I'm taking the medium matte purple shade and using that as my crease color. And I'm being super messy with it just because I want it to be a very nice and diffused look. And, you know, with the tape there, you can be as messy as you want. And for my lid shade, I'm taking the middle sparkly shade and I'm just packing that all over the lid. I kind of wish I would have wet the brush for this just because it'd make it even more sparkly, but dry it works too. Now with a more like precise crease brush, I'm taking the darkest matte purple shade in the palette and just placing that in the outer corner and then slowly bringing it into the crease just so it's nice and blended. But I am really going for that cat eye effect, so I'm concentrating it where the tape is and again just being super messy with it because you know the tape's there so you can't really mess up and now I'm going to be taking the lightest sparkly shade in the palette and just popping that in the inner corners just to brighten things up a little bit and now I'm just going to be removing the tape and of course I'm the dummy who did my face makeup first so I am going to be trying to blend out like the concealer and stuff that the tape took off so don't mind that. Um, and now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and just blending out any harsh edges that the tape might have left behind. And you know with the tape it really does look like a pretty dang good cat eye smoky purple eyeshadow look like looks like I know what I'm doing kind of. Anyways, so let's move on to highlights. I'm going to go back in with the lightest matte shade in the palette. I'm just going to put that underneath my brow and then also kind of help blend out the um, cat eye portion of the tutorial. And then for my bottom lash line, I'm going to be taking the darkest, most purple um, shimmery shade in the palette and just putting that at the bottom lash line just to kind of smoke it out a little bit and add a pop of color. And then with a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. And I could have used a smaller brush for this but honestly it wasn't clean so yeah work with what you got now I'm going to go back in with the darkest matte shade the darkest matte purple and just concentrate that in the outer corner just because I want it to be a little bit darker just like the teeniest tiniest bit and then I'm going to go back in with the blending brush and just blend it out and now for liner I'm using the Kat Von D tattoo liner um, also currently the cat is playing on my keyboard which is stressful um, so yeah and he just hit a button cool but I do love this liner and yeah it's an awesome one if you haven't tried it you totally should because it's like my holy grail now for mascara oh my goodness he literally won't get off the keyboard um now for mascara i'm using a new mascara from the brand koki this is their length and volume mascara and i freaking love it so so good but don't worry i'm going to be adding some false lashes so i'm going to be using the ardell wispy lashes and i'm just applying those as i usually do with just some tweezers because i feel like that's the easiest way to do it and then just kind of gently positioning them literally it's so easy like anybody can do it trust me and I feel like it just kind of adds a little bit of drama to the look so after I put those in place I'm hopping to my lips I'm using um Marc Jacobs slow burn lipstick which is like my new favorite 
Now finishing up the rest of the face, I'm using Becca's blush in the shade Wild Honey, and this is one of my favorites for just like a neutral look. And then for highlight, I'm using the Smashbox and Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette. This is the Pearl Palette. I'm mixing the lighter shade with the darker shade and just applying it to my cheekbones. And it just adds the most beautiful glow, and I just love this palette. I think it's so, so good. So yeah, that is the completed makeup look. Um, the cat is currently hiding under a blanket, and that's about everything. So I hope you guys like this video subscribe like all that good stuff and i will see you guys next time bye y'all